Okay, everybody, it is time to play Chapter 3 of King's Quest 7, The Sky is Falling. <coughs> um, when we left off, Rosella was leaving the Troll Kingdom to go to Ooga Booga Land. Um, and we last saw the Queen, she was leaving the desert to go to another land and ran into that scary-looking creature. So... Now we're going to see how well that goes for um, the queen, I believe. I think we're back to the queen. Let's find out. Yep, we're back to the queen. Oh, that needs to be turned down. Ready? One second, I'll turn the volume down. Taking care of the monster. Woo. One second. Here we go. Here we go. Water in my eye. I advise you to turn back, my lady. These once magical woods have been cursed, and no one is safe here. Let's talk to the stag. I am Valenice of Daventry, noble stag, and I appreciate your concern, but I am on a mission from which I cannot be dissuaded. I must enter your woods. You are brave, but know this. The oak tree you see before you was once my wife Ceres, she who is Mother Nature. I could not prevent her from being turned into a tree. You can take out Mother Nature. I had already been turned into a stag. I, Attis, Lord of the Hunt, could not save her. Who has done such a terrible thing, my Lord Attis? The attack was so sudden and so ferocious that I saw nothing. Only a noble from the High Court of Etheria could have so much power. But that is unthinkable. I am sorry for your loss, Attis, but I must search on. Farewell, my friend. Valenice, wait. Be warned. To the far west is the wood of the Weir Folk. Do not enter those woods, for the Weir Folk are never friendly and always hungry. Thank you, Lord Attis. May the fate smile upon both of us. What wicked creature drove this stake into the tree, into Lady Ceres? The same creature who turned her into a tree. If I only knew who that was, Lady Valenis, I would surely make him regret it. I fear my lady may die of that wound, but I can do nothing about it with these clumsy hooves. We'll be back to deal with you later, Stag. We'll take care of you later. Don't want to go in there yet. It's a forbidden forest. <coughs> so 
It's a dinky jump. Okay, just like Alexander. Can't stand, can't balance very well. Apparently. Oh, my. my jewel. Soon all your troubles will be over. <laughs> nah, don't think so. Gotcha. Hey! Who took the sun? Who took my lunch? Where am I? Just cool off for a while, my many-legged friend. No fair! There you are, pretty one. Safe I and sound. Spider ribs fell apart that I owe you my life, lady. I know I am very tiny, but if I can do you a good turn in the future, I will. Farewell! of Daventry! I seek entry to your town! You may only enter this city uh, if you uh, bring me the holy one-ton tomato of Antioch. What? That's ridiculous! There's no such thing! Oh, and you were gonna let a little thing like that stop you? You yes. don't deserve to be in this town. Wanna bet? Don't touch that door! You can't go through there. there. There's a there's a giant rabid chicken on the other side. That's it. A giant rabid chicken. Could have made that more convincing, dude. I'll take my chances. Stop! You can't do that! I just did, little fellow. Oh! The Archduke will hear of this! Oh! Ouch. And there's your food. Yeah. Stop! I, Archduke Fifila, yip yip, do you order it? You are a stranger here and you have no business in the town of Falderal. Please, noble Archduke, you must let me by. I'm on an errand of great importance. Oh, that's what they all say. Then the next thing you know, they are rubbing the city blind. Archduke Yip Yap, I would never. Good sir, I want nothing from your town. I'm only searching for my lost daughter, Rosella. She was stolen by some form of dark magic and now I fear I will never see her again. Oh, that's the saddest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Enjoy your stay in Folder, old lady. Be sure to take the faux shop with a grain of salt. I hope you found your daughter. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's the grain of salt. I knew there was a reason for it. Looking what it was. <laughs> Just never mind there, my lady. He's very silly. Clearly. Welcome to my shop, dear lady. The I am Fernando Bullforth, proprietor. Good day, sir. Oh, it is not a good day. It is a terrible day. A black day. I'm sorry to hear that, Fernando. Is there anything I can do to help? 
Not unless you have found my treasure. Someone stole your treasure? How awful! Was it gold or gems? No, it was treasure, my precious china bird. I love my treasure more than all the stars in the sky. She is my only friend, and now... Now she's gone. <laughs> Do you know who might have stolen your bird? Oh, it could have been anyone. Everyone in town wanted my treasure for his own. <laughs> Pardon me, good sir, but what is the price of that lovely mask? The price is one hundred pieces of gold, my lady. That's a but I'll gold let you have it for eighty. I just don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I've no money. Thank you anyway, shopkeep. <laughs> the sky is falling! What? 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 The sky is falling! All right, already. Did you hear me, lady? I said the sky is falling. Hey, I heard you. Follow the bird. Look! The sky is falling! The sky is falling! Oh my goodness gracious. Ah, then maybe you would prefer some of Professor Gluten's all-purpose extra sticky glue to put it back. Ah! Why doesn't anyone listen to me? Why, why, why? I'll tell you why, my dear. It's because you don't get their attention. However, if you were to smack them in the head with this fine shillelagh, how annoying that bird is. Hello, little bird. Who are you? Go away! Hush, little one. Your friend Fernando is looking for you. He says he loves his Fernando little treasure bowl. more than all the stars in the sky. You've met him? Will you take me to him, please? Of course. Here, hop <sighs> on my finger. How does he not notice her taking the bird? Good day, sir. I wonder if you might be able to help me. Of course I can help you, madam. What you need is a big jar of effervescent, a quick-acting dewberries revelant. It will cure what ails you and cleans your cookware as well. I am not ill, sir. And furthermore, I find your claim hard to believe. You do? Well, with Dr. Bullroarer's gullibility tonic, you'll believe anything. It's made with so much pure hooey that it won't just suspend your disbelief. It'll make it hover in midair. Never mind, merchant. I'll seek help elsewhere. Please, sir, you must help me. This comb belongs to my daughter, and she's missing. She's a beautiful girl with sky-blue eyes and golden hair. Have you heard of her? 
Indeed I have, lady. I have just recently heard that she is to be married to the Troll King in the Volcanics Underground in a few days. Yeesh. Too bad you can't possibly go there and save her. What do you mean I can't go there? I can and I will! But my lady, the Mother's Volcanics love. Underground lies west of the forest, beyond the wood of the Weir Folk. No one has ever entered that wood and lived. Not unless they had my special salve, that is. I will sell it to you, but I will take only one very special item for it. A magic statuette. A lovely depiction of an nymph gazing into a pond. Just where can I find this magic statuette? <coughs> I cannot be sure. But last I heard, the Archduke had it. I can't just take something from the Archduke. It is not really his. The statue is a relic of the realm. Some say it once belonged to Titania, Queen of the Fairies, when she was just a child. No one knows to whom it really belongs. Well, all right. I must have that salve if I'm ever to see my daughter again. Yeah, let's go return the bird. <laughs> I know someone who'd really like to see you, Fernando. Who might that be, my lady? <gasps> Treasure! I cannot thank you enough, good lady. Here, allow me to present you with this. It is my newest acquisition, and I want you to have it. Thank you, Fernando. I will always remember you and Treasure. If you will excuse me, my lady, I must go spend some quality time with Treasure. Yes, tell me all about it, my little precious one. Good evening, sir and madam. Do come right in. I guess we're going to a party. I wish I could just turn the music off. Welcome, my lady! That was easy. Happy birthday, Archduke Yip Yap! Thank you, my loyal subject! <laughs> Why not have a slice of cake? It's been a while. Oh, 
Alright, so we need to go west. We need the upside down door. I don't think I wanted this room. Actually, hang on. Actually, I think I do want that door. Goodness gracious, this is confusing. It's like the staircase of Hogwarts. They just don't move, but they're just as confusing. <coughs> I'm right there with you, girl. Please, statue, <laughs> tell me where my daughter is. Rosella is in mortal peril in the dark land of Ooga Booga. Rosella, oh, my baby. <laughs> I think she can take care of herself. Calm down. Still scary, though. down I believe we have to do this again
What a sweet little bird. Hello there, pretty. Hello, dragon brat. <laughs> How can you be so rude? I'm a mockingbird, lady. What do you expect? Quick, go soak your head. Your brain is overheating. <laughs> the sky is falling! The sky is falling! It's the moon! Okay, now we can get the nickel. The faux shop. Synthetic false and unnatural treasures. <coughs> Ugh, that is salty. That's why it's called salt. Oh, hello, madam. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Good day, sir. I am Valenice of Daventry. Good day, madam. I am Ersatz Defoe, the owner of this fine establishment. Uh, may I show you something in particular? Hmm? No, thank you. Pardon me for asking, Ersatz, but am I wrong in saying everything in your shop is... Well, how can I put this? Fake, <laughs> false, synthetic. <laughs> yes, you're absolutely right. I take pride in offering the widest selection of totally artificial merchandise available anywhere. Oh, why, even I myself am a uh, <laughs> mock turtle. What charming little books. What are you asking for them? Ah, I see you are a woman of good taste. The wit and wisdom of Falderall has always been a bestseller. The price is one wooden nickel. I'd like to purchase one of these books with a wooden nickel, please. Here you are, madam. Enjoy! Is that chicken made of rubber? Yes, it is. It is the finest and stretchiest rubber chicken I've ever seen. I'd have to ask something very special in exchange for it. I will come back for that later. Almost done with chapter three. There we go. To get my cursor in the right place. <sighs>
goodness gracious. <coughs> Excuse me. We are in search of something to get the moon out of the pool. Would you like to trade with me? You won't believe what you will see. Aha! You offer me a book. I'll get my finest shepherd's crook. Now that sounds like a good trade. Alrighty then, we've got the crook. Back to the town. This is where it's... <coughs> oh. Not what is wrong with you. This is where it gets annoying trying to walk back and forth. This is where it'd be nice filled with speed up the game. Interesting, she has trouble balancing going this way, but she has no trouble balancing going back. <clears throat> See? No trouble balancing, but on the way back we have no problem with it. Interesting. You can't go through that door! There are, um... 600 bad-tempered weasels with crossbows right on the other side. Yeah, that's it. The weasels. Well, thank you for the warning, little fellow. Oh, big fat hairy rats. <laughs> big fat hairy rats. I must start saying that. Get the moon. Lost a crook, though. <laughs> I saw what you just did. You just stole the moon. Moon thief. <laughs> Human. <laughs> Party pooper. You are under arrest for all of the reasons my lord the Archduke Yip Yap stated. Plus the heinous and disgusting crime of having no fur or feathers to cover your bald face. <laughs> Let's lock her up till we can figure out what to do with her. <laughs> See there. All right, so that is chapter three. Let's um, we'll continue with chapter four and see where. Um, Rosella winds up if she makes it through into Ooga Booga Land.